All right, we got two shows to talk about here today: the AW Dynamite show, NXT 2.0, as well. And uh, I guess the big story coming out of AEW is they changed the tag team titles. Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland won the titles in the three-way with the Young Bucks and Hobbs and Starks. So, uh, new tag team champions. Was not I'm expecting sure. that. Really? I mean, nah, it was it, not. Because when when Keith Lee during the day dedicated to um, his his um, friend with cancer. Well, sure, that aspect. But I mean, if you've been I mean, watching I mean, before, the show, but, I mean, the fans have been dying to see FTR and the Young Bucks for all the bells. And I thought that's where they were going, and apparently that's not where they're going. That's still where they should be going. I mean, um, the Bucks should win the titles back at some point. I mean, I don't know that they're going to do it, but yeah, I thought uh, the fans definitely want FTR and the Bucks for all the belts. That's the match they want, and uh, that's the match that they should get. But, um, um, you know, I mean, they put the thing on, I mean, Lee and... If you're going to do that, I mean, you know, you got to win the you've got to win the titles when you, if you're going to do that. So, so they won the titles. I you know, I don't know if that means that they're going to be facing. I mean, like it would you know the Bucks did not lose because it was Starks that got pinned, right? Yes. So the Bucks have a you know a big you know a, a, the, should get a rematch because they did not lose the match. Um Starks and Hobbs have been done like only a billion promos against uh, Lee and Strickland and in and, and all that time since April, maybe even before April. They've only had one match, so and which which Starks and Hobbs won. So they also should be getting a championship match pretty soon. So the match set up, um, you know, two, you know, two new championship matches that both should happen uh, relatively quickly. Uh, we got uh, pay per view September the third. Um, so if they don't change the titles, yeah, it would end up. You know, you would think it would have, have to be FTR because FTR has to get a championship match, get, considering they have three other championship belts. So um, I mean, they got a deep tag team division, but the match people want is absolutely Young Bucks and FTR. So um, that that should be the pay per view match. I don't know if it will be or not, though. So the main event was uh, Swerve and Keith Lee beating the Bucks and Ricky Starks and Powerhouse Hobbs. They had such a fantastic match. And what's yeah. amazing about it is uh, about, I don't know, three, four, five minutes into the match, Matt Jackson gets a stinger. And uh, if you watch the match from that point forward... Yeah, I, mean, I, was, I, was, I was wondering because I, I saw that he, uh, he really seemed to hurt his neck. Well, what happened, and uh, this is one of those things where... You know, people talk about toning down because there's so many injuries. But, dude, I'm telling you, 80% of these injuries are on things that nobody should ever get hurt doing. And what he got hurt on was uh, Keith Lee and Hobbs giving him a basic vertical suplex. And just when he fell, I mean, you could see it immediately. Like, he, he hit, uh, like, ass first, and then his head snapped back, and, and he grabbed his neck, and... And, I mean, from that point forward, I mean, he was being super careful. He was being super careful on his bumps. I mean, for the most part, everybody was being super careful with everything they did to him. I think he took one uh, double-team powerbomb from uh, Keith and and uh, Swerve oh. near the end. But uh, other than that, I mean, you could just see everybody working around him. And they still had this great match. It was, All, yeah. yeah, it was... He had, uh, well, they, Swerve they, they, and Nick doing all this crazy stuff at the beginning, and then everybody's hitting all of these big moves at the end. There's dives. There's a flip dive by Keith Lee. I mean... That that went a little, well, a little short. But, well, he hit it. Yeah, He flipped. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's big to be doing that. Really big. Um, Yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, the thing with Matt, though, is, is Matt... I mean, Matt has had neck issues, um, you know, I mean, just from the wear and tear. So it's not like it's one of those things where, you know, you get hurt on a basic move, but it's because you've been doing. Well, sure. I mean, so you've got the accumulated over the injuries over X number of years that, that yeah, things you know, happen. He's, he's, he's probably, you know, worked a, a very bump heavy style for what, what 
18 years, 17 years, something like that, whatever, however many years it's been. It's been a lot of years. So, you know, like, I, I think we've seen that with a lot of the injuries, that they're on basic stuff, but they're on body parts that are very worn out. Well, again, I mean, that wasn't, it wasn't even somebody who was neck. I mean, it wasn't even like a, a DDT or anything. It was just, it was a suplex yeah. from two big guys that can put you down as safely as humanly possible. Yeah. And it was just a fluke landing and... But in one of those, one of the matches with Pentagon and Phoenix, I believe it was, um, do I think it was the really good one? I think he took uh, not the not the most recent one, but the one before. I think know. it was the cage match, and they 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 hit that. Uh, it was it was. I don't it think was they a, do it anymore. It was like that double team pile driver. It was like a jump off of something into a Canadian destroyer. It was like definitely a Canadian destroyer where where he 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 was hurt. But I mean, it wasn't like Siri. I mean, well, I don't say. Not serious, but he was hurt. But it's not like he missed any time or anything like that. But um, but you know he you know the neck was hurt, um, and you know I mean he's he's his neck has hurt him for for years at times. You know, just it's just the accumulation of of everything that that he's done. It happens, you know. It basically happens to everyone. Everyone that's in the business. Um, at some point, gets those accumulation injuries. You know, if you're wrestling a hard style, you, anyway. So finally, at the end, uh, Keith Lee hits the big flip dive and then uh, swerves in the ring, hits the uh, swerve stomp off the top on Starks and pins him. And uh, they didn't pin the champions, but man, this guy got the pin, and this crowd just exploded for the title change. And uh, they did a spot near the end where everyone... A belt got thrown in the ring after the ref bump, and everybody takes turns. Like, they're going to hit somebody, but then they get wiped out. They're going to hit somebody, they get wiped out. And finally, Swerve gets the belt, and he teases like he's going to hit Keith Lee with it. But then he throws the belt down, and he continues on. And I think Nick finally hit a... Or no, it was Matt maybe hit a belt shot. One of the Bucks hit the belt I shot. Think, I think it was belt. I think it was and it was a uh, uh, kick out, so that was a big pop. And then finally they went to the finish, and they won the titles. So, new champs! And uh, great match, and uh, what a reaction. What a reaction for that finish. Yeah, yeah, it's a really great match, yeah. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them, the 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.